Two months ago, a man came at me with a knife, cut my skin, cut my muscle, cut my bone, and stopped short just of my sciatic nerve. That man then took his microscope and removed my herniated disc. <laughs> that man was my neurosurgeon. Because that morning, I had woken up and I couldn't feel my leg. I couldn't move my leg. I had ignored 30 years of back pain and I wasn't taking care of myself. But I had the best excuse. I'm a surgeon. <laughs> I'm a pediatric surgeon. There's a little patient that needs my help. There's a family that is waiting for me. There's a trauma patient that comes into the hospital tonight that I need to take care of. I had the best excuse to spend 80 to 100 hours a week in the hospital for years. Now I was in the hospital myself, on the IV, on the monitor, feeling bad, not moving, having just had surgery. Now I had a better excuse. I had to send my patients off to one of my partners. I had to ask someone else to cover my call schedule. But I also had a better excuse to not go to the lecture that I was invited to give in Milan, Italy, or the pediatric surgery forum in the snowy mountains of Austria. I also had a better excuse to miss my mom's 70th birthday in Germany. I was laying in the hospital. So I want to ask you, what is your excuse? What is your excuse to not take better care of yourself? Well, let me ask that question the other way around. What are you waiting for? A herniated disc? A heart attack? A cancer? And what I would like you to do is turn to your neighbor and talk for 30 seconds about what you are going to be able to do tomorrow and on Monday and on Tuesday to take better care of yourself. Turn to your neighbor, introduce yourself, talk for 30 seconds. What are you going to do? I love that there's so much passion, so much interest. Everybody wants to take care of themselves, right? You guys, this is, this is even better than I expected from a house crowd. I love the passion in the room where you jumped in immediately because this is important. Now, some of you may wonder, why do we talk about this at a business school? Why do we talk about this at Berkeley Haas? For me, in order for all of us to continue to do the amazing things we all want to do, we must take care of ourselves. And for me, the defining principle of beyond yourself must begin with yourself. And when we do that, we automatically give the people around us and we inspire them to do the same. I want to thank you. <laughs>